Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to go through understanding how to get a correct shoulder turn. So it's not really the right way to describe it because like turning my shoulder is like my joint of my shoulder, right? So that's that shoulder, that's my me turning my shoulder. What I'm looking more at is how my chest or upper thoracic is rotating as I'm getting into the top of the backswing, okay? So when we're looking at that takeaway move, some very key things when we're getting proper rotation with the upper body in the backswing. How can we do it in an effective way? One that's not gonna be too much on the back, okay? So the, the spine we're paying attention to. Also, what's gonna give me the best chance to produce energy in the downswing? I wanted to go through this day. I think it's a really interesting topic and I see lots of players struggle with this, so I thought it would be a good one to go through getting the upper body rotation right in the backswing. So remember, everyone's different. Everyone's gonna have a different amount of range of rotation and where they're gonna get the rotation from. So if you don't know what your range is, make sure you check out the obsessedgolfclub.com. We have some great tools in there that can help you understand what's the best for your body. If you have relatively good range of motion, here's a good way to think about the backswing rotation, okay? So when I look at what sort of one tendency would be, so as players go back, so this would be producing, so if I sort of set up here, so I'm in a, my upper body's bent over forward, okay, a certain amount, and then as I go back, the tendency I see a lot of players with is, is they start to add tilt right away in their backswing with the idea that they're trying to keep their spine angle the same, okay? So if I'm trying to keep my spine angle the same and I'm adding tilt, it's actually, if you watch my my spine, my spine is actually just curving when I do that. It's not actually rotating, okay? So I'm not rotating around my spine, I'm just turning or curving my spine or tilting my spine when I do that. And then when I do this, it is very hard for me to turn from this position because of the way that I've sort of set up my, my spine. So number one is make sure in that first step, we're not tilting, we're gonna let the chest sort of move a little bit more level in that first, couple feet of backswing versus that early tilt. That early tilt makes it so hard to rotate and it's gonna put us in a very compromised position going to the top of backswing. Step two that's really important when we're looking at getting to a good upper body position in the backswing, understanding how the upper body is gonna be moving in the backswing is when I do it, when I do the first move, again, we're not going this way, but we're also in that first move, we're not gonna be moving too much off of the ball, okay? So that's another tendency I see is in that first move, players moving their head too much, they're trying to stay level with their shoulders, but when I do this, that's actually me staying too much in my in my forward bend. So if I'm in forward bend here and I stay too much in my forward bend, that's gonna make me sort of in this position, okay? So what I wanna do is level shoulders at the start, and then as I get to about this spot, so I've created nice rotation, haven't shifted too much, and then as I start to extend and get taller, that's gonna keep me in that centered position without adding too much left side bend. So I can stay centered by shifting and then left side bending, okay, for a right-handed player. That's not what we want, we want rotation. And then as we get taller, we're gonna keep turning into that rotation. That's gonna help us not tilt too much. It's gonna be a little bit easier on the back and then also help with your low point because you're not too far off the ball. So that's sort of step number two. Really important to understand the difference between just shifting off the ball and then tilting or actually rotating and getting taller. Quite different movements. Really important to know the difference of those two. Now we're looking at sort of the third tendency I see when players are trying to get correct sort of tilt and, and shoulder turn, I, I would call it upper body rotation in the backswing, is when they go, okay, so they start to go back and then they actually start extending, overextending their back in the effort to stay more centered, okay? So that would be, I've shifted too much and now I'm overextending my back to get back into that center position. That's really going to be tough on the spine. I'm not saying the spine's not going to extend, but I want to do it in a more of a natural, neutral position versus moving too much and then having to overextend the spine. When I overextend the spine, you can see I'm almost arching this way. So if we're looking at it on 3D, my chest bend would be negative. So this would be a positive chest bend. So me in an forward bend position, okay? This would be keeping too much forward bend, I'd look like this. This would be me losing too much forward bend, I'd look like this, okay? So if you're arched too much at the top, um, that could be a physical limitation. It's how you're finding the top of the backswing, or it could be conceptual, like you're actually trying to do that. I'd advise 
you to just work on what's it like to get that rotation and get a little bit taller as you get there versus extending that back too much. It's going to be hard on the back, hard to repeat, and then also it's going to be tough to do the same amount of this each time. And then as you come down, you're going to have to change that position. So um, when you're getting to the top, just feel like you're getting taller, trying to get that forward bend about neutral you can see how my chest is relatively level here it is not arched backwards towards the target so that's a good way to think about it when you're getting to the top of the backswing so when it comes to my favorite drill when it gets when we're talking about the upper body rotation understanding sort of the tilts versus the turn okay and then getting the body in the right position there's lots of levels to this right so obviously we got to know what your body can do that's going to dictate how much rotation we get in the backswing with the upper body but two making sure the concepts are right on how you're going to do it so this is my favorite drill when it comes to the backswing it's really easy to to see okay so i got my hands out here so as i start back you can see i'm trying to rotate relatively level here in this first move and then as i get to the top okay I'm trying to get in a position where both of my hands are stacked on the top of each other and I'm a little bit over my right foot versus, okay, the two tendencies would be tilt first, or this is actually the three, the tilt, okay, and then rotate, so that's gonna put me this way. The second one is moving too much, so you can see how my hands are gonna be positioned and I'm gonna notice I'm too far this way. The third one is as I go to rotate, okay, I'm ro rotating relatively level, and then as I finish the backswing, I'm producing a little bit of tilt, right? So if you watch this, so same thing, a little bit of tilt, and then I'm getting my chest stacked over my right leg when I do it with my hands stacked on top of each other. That's gonna show me from a body motion standpoint what a neutral top of the backswing is. Again, the first fault was tilt, second one would be too much, uh, keeping my forward bend too much, and the third one would be if I get here and I overextend, you can see how this trail hand ends up way, way behind my head. I hope this helps you. Again, we want to make sure we know what's right for your body and then get the concepts right and then what drills are going to help you. This is my favorite drill when understanding what the upper body is going to be doing in the backswing. If you need more help for your game, make sure you check out the Obsessed Golf Club. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.